What is going on, everybody? And, well, it seems we have a little stirrup in the Alpha GP class right now, and that is going to be the KTM Expo R. Now, I'm sure many people are well aware of the Spear Racing ED pretty much taking over all the leaderboards and all the races. Probably for good reasoning, because at first, you know, everybody's like, I need the fastest car at the highest top speed. But it goes to show that it doesn't matter. Now, I did make a video about the highest top speed on all these lovely Alpha GP vehicles here. Um, and some obviously are faster than others, but top speed really doesn't matter on a track like that, especially when you can't get the full speed. It's more about how the car turns and all that. So overall, the Expo R is absolutely incredible. If you're looking for a vehicle to buy in this class, I actually recommend to go after the Expo first and not the Mark X. I feel like it'd be better for you for racing and you could use it in escapes and summits. This car really just isn't what it used to be ever since that nerf, and I still ran on a lot of races and did very, very good. You guys will notice that's still used heavily in summits and races. It's just I feel like the Spear Racing ED and the KTM Expo R have really been taken over. Unfortunately, the Spear Racing ED is not gettable anymore because it wasn't a motor pass, at least the last one anyway. Maybe we'll have a new car similar to this in Alpha GP class. I'm not sure. But luckily, the Expo R is still viable, and this car is incredible. So I'm going to jump into one race and talk about this a little bit more. So I'm sure many people are very well aware of how good this car actually is. So now jumping into the race here, I want to talk about this thing a little bit more, guys. This car is absolutely amazing. So I am running this on Ace, if you are wondering as well. So some of these uh, AI racers might be a little ridiculous. So first things first. Well, the first thing I noticed about driving this car a bit is, my goodness, the handling and the agility on this thing is just absolutely incredible. It kind of blows my mind how good this thing turns and how quick it can stop and all that. It can pretty much do it all. And I've really been knowing why everybody's been driving this car now, honestly. I've been seeing it all the leaderboards. Um, I've actually been beating my uh, time in a lot of these races with it as well that I used to have with the Mark X. So this car is pretty incredible. I would definitely recommend taking a look at it if you're in the market for like a vehicle in this class. Uh, the Expo R is just incredible. The handling, the agility, and it's just amazing. And this thing can also do escapes as well. If you guys are trying to do those in the summits, because I did use it in the recent summit, and it did an incredible job. I did actually try to use the Mark X first, and, well, uh, I struggled pretty hard there. But I don't think what really messes the Mark X up is the fact that, like, a lot of the other F1 vehicles are very long, and sometimes they don't turn very sharp. This car is very small, and I noticed, like, it can just eat the turns, and it grabs itself a little bit easier. Some of those cars might struggle a little bit, like weaving in and out of turns and all that, or trying to turn better. Or, if you can take the turn too wide and too fast, like me, you'll crash right there. Uh, but nonetheless, the KTM definitely seems like it is coming out on top a lot now. I've been noticing most of the races and leaderboards. This car has pretty much been owning it, which I guess is for good reasoning. This car does deserve some more love, especially after I tested it in the escape there. It really did blow my mind, honestly, how good this thing actually is. And I didn't really realize before, like, I never really tested it when it released uh, last season. And I'm like, my goodness, this car definitely deserves to be out there a little bit. People need to know about this thing if they're racing. Um, you guys are noticing, if you check the leaderboards, like, the Spear Racing obviously is on top, but that car is no longer gettable. But let's get the next best thing out there. And if you are wondering, is this car as good as that, if it's similar? So, first things first, I have noticing they are very, very similar. The main difference with the cars are the looks. Uh, I would say the Spear Racing ED might be a little bit better in some aspects, um, but mostly they are pretty much the same vehicle. You're really just getting different looks. The Spear Racing is a very cool looking car. Nonetheless, the regular one is pretty awesome as well here. If you guys are noticing, I'm also not really trying this race too hard here. Uh, and I'm still casually going off and going very, very good with it, so... This car is pretty amazing, so brakes on it, obviously, in the F1 vehicles are incredible right there. You see, I almost came to a dead stop around that turn there. So looking to use this thing on escapes, depending if, you know, it is usable, this car can definitely do that. Turning overall on the street, too, and track seems to be untouchable, I've noticed, with this car. Uh, driving this thing on the tracks and all that, and the road a little bit, like, the, the handling on this car, like, it just eats the turns, like... I honestly don't even understand it on how it grips so well. Sometimes the other uh, Alpha vehicles will like mess up or have issues turning. And this car definitely does not struggle too hard with that at all. And it's just amazing how, look at this. Like full grip the entire time. Three minutes and two seconds. It definitely could have did better on that race. I hit a wall, unfortunately. This car is absolutely incredible, guys. Definitely check out the KTM. I had to make this video because this car has been popping up everywhere. And I definitely recommend checking it out. Anyway, here are the settings I'm running on this vehicle right now. Definitely try it out, guys. You cannot go wrong with this vehicle. Before you buy any Alpha vehicle, check out the KTM first. This thing is absolutely amazing. Looks great, too. If you guys are wondering, first-person view on it. I'm sure many people already know what that looks like. Looks pretty awesome as well. Amazing how the, this car just drives so good. It's incredible. Definitely check it out, everybody. 
And here are the settings I'm running on my KTM Expo R. Now, one thing I wanted to mention as well, guys, is if you guys are wondering what car to buy, I highly recommend checking this thing out. Now, this car is actually for sale for everybody for about 671000 bucks or so. So it is believed to be the cheapest one out of all of them, but also it's a very, very good car, and I highly recommend checking it out. Instead of buying the Mark X or one of these other like Red Bulls, I recommend buying the KTM. You'll be able to do races with it much easier, and it can compete in summits at ease. This car is absolutely amazing.